हॅलो स्टुडंट्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट अँड इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन वी विल सी हाऊ टू ट्रॅव्हर्स अ डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट सो डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट कॅन बी ट्रॅव्हर्स इन फॉरवर्ड डिरेक्शन ॲज वेल ॲज इन रिव्हर्स डिरेक्शन बोथ द थिंग्स वी विल कवर इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन Before moving to the content I would like to request you to subscribe my channel Tech Talks and keep the bell ringing Now let's see among these different operations we are going to focus on the traversal of a doubly linked list in forward as well as in reverse direction So first of all let's see how to traverse it in forward direction To traverse the link list in forward direction you must have to create the link list first and insert few nodes in that how to create a link list how to insert a node for that i have already covered the concept in previous video session you can go through that if you don't know the concept with respect to creation of doubly link list and the insertion of node in doubly link list Now let's see this is the doubly linked list which is available with us and if i want to traverse that into the forward direction what the steps i supposed to follow usually we used to start with the head node so this one is my head node and i am going to mark it as a head node then make this head node as a current node and after that we have to check whether my current node is not equal to null if the condition is true then what we have to do we have to insert into the loop and we have to display the data because traversal is nothing but the display of the data so we will display its data part information part and then what the next step we have to do we we should have to move to the next node of the doubly linked list by executing this particular statement here we are updating a current node with the current nodes next next field of current node the next field of current node is 65630 and now we are going to make this as a current node so let's see this is my current node now after this we supposed to again check that whether my current node is not equal to null the condition is true after that display the data and move to the next node let's move to the next node we are at the position at the node and then let's again repeatedly check the condition whether current node is not equal to null condition is true here you can see that condition is true and now next display the data and move to the next now what is what your next will holding the current node ka next is nothing but null so your current node is null this variable is null now now let's check this condition whether this condition is true or false this condition is false now and if if this condition is false we will not insert into the loop and we will stop at this position so what we have done we have started from head node we have displayed 10 then we moved to the next node in forward direction we have displayed 20 then again moving to the next node we have displayed 30 and now we are at the end of the list and at that position we supposed to stop because this is the end of the list and in this way we have done with the traversal and the last step is to exit from the for loop or to exit from the forward direction traversal function so in this way we have done with the dll traversal in forward direction now let's move for forward for the next point that is in reverse direction how to traverse the doubly linked list in reverse direction again the same thing we supposed to follow here two possibilities can be there if we have marked this node as the last node or the tell node end node of your doubly linked list then directly you can start from this but if we have not marked it if we have used only the single head pointer in this case my first step is to start from a head node and traverse dll till the last node here we are not going to display anything because in the step 1 what we supposed to do we supposed to move to the 
last node because here we want to traverse it in, into the backward direction so that's why we should have to reach to this particular node first of all that is end of the list and then we suppose to move into the backward direction so let's consider that we have executed the step number one and we are at the end of the list those this is my current node i am going to make this as current node and then the same thing we supposed to follow we supposed to check repeatedly whether my current node is not equal to null just we have done in a previous slide and we have to display the data and we have to move in a previous direction and with that let's consider now i am at this position i supposed to display the uh, information part and again i supposed to move in a previous direction once again now i am at the head and uh, my data whatever data is there i will display that again i will move to the previous wala um, node but previous node is null because here end of the list in a backward direction so what we will do we will exit from the function and in this way we have done the traversal of the doubly linked list in backward direction so thank you friends for listening and watching this video please do not forget to give the comment if you like the video and the content share it with your friends here i am providing you a subscription link for my channel tech talks again i am providing you a shortcut link for a next video of this video series and the whole video series i am going to provide you in the form of playlist so thank you friends happy data structuring happy learning thank you